Hey everybody, welcome to this episode of the Disc Golf Answer Man. What's up, DGAM fam? So this sorry. is Noah from Minnesota, and I have a question about tournaments. So I played in my first PDGA tournament last weekend, um, and I went out for a practice round the day before, and I shot a 63 on the course. I felt good. I was trying to put pressure on myself uh, to simulate what it would be like in a tournament, try to keep in the zone during practice, to prepare for the tournament the next day. Um, and I came out the next day and shot eight strokes worse on just a one-rounder, 18-hole. And I, I didn't even feel that bad about my play. I just somehow ended up playing way worse. Um, any recommendations as far as how to go about attacking this or just things I should do mentally, ways to recover, so I can go on to the next tournament and hopefully do better? Thanks for what you do for the sport, and as always, keep it real. Nice, Noah. Um, there are a couple of different ways to attack practice rounds, and um, I'll tell you about the way that I've seen Eric Oakley do it, and he got it from Eagle McMahon, is what they'll do is go out to the round, like the course that they're going to play. They play two tee shots off every tee, play those tee shots out, and then keep score as they go. Um, and that kind of gives them usually a reasonable idea of what they should be looking to shoot because it's not just like playing from your best drive, playing the putts that you make, everything like that. You're actually playing two full rounds out. Um, I don't like to go in with any expectations of what I'm going to shoot. So especially it's different for like our local courses. Like when we go play monkey Island, you know, I have an idea of what I'd like to shoot out there because I played Peter Pan a whole bunch of times. But if we like, like when I went to USDGC, I would just throw shots and then just try and figure out the spot I wanted to be. And when I did practice putt, normally it wasn't from the lie that I threw from uh, because I don't want to set an expectation like, oh, if I'm not two under by this point, I'll be disappointed. If I'm not five under by this point, I'll be disappointed. Um, because like the only way that really goes well is if I'm shooting better. If I'm shooting worse, it feels like, man, that's that's not very good. But maybe that spot where I would like to be two under – Maybe I'm even, and so I think, okay, now I have to push. That's no good either. So um, what I like to do is just throw throw my shots, try and figure out the best way to get to the spot that I want to, and then just accept what happens from there. Um, that's, that's really all I try to do. So this isn't lower your expectations. It's work on setting different goals maybe. Um, instead of saying, I want to shoot a 63, say, I want to find my landing zones, um, and then you can improve on that. Uh, I want to make 95% of my putts inside the circle. Those are things that you can uh, keep up with, but I don't think it really helps to say, okay, if I don't shoot 63, it will have been a failure, because then all you're thinking is failure in 63, you know? Like, you're only going to shoot worse most of the time there. 